Hello everyone, my name is Graham Ehlers Sheldon and I'm a Roscoe and Sigma ambassador and filmmaker. And this is the Cinematography Challenge, sponsored by Roscoe and Sigma. We're here in the middle of a heat wave at Sigma's Burbank location to essentially nerd out about cinematography with a heavy emphasis on lighting and optics. Today, I'm joined by Vance Burberry. Hi, Vance. Hi, how are you? I'm good. Can you tell me a bit about your background? Just give me a sense of how you got here. Um, yeah, I'm a cinematographer. I have been for the last 35 years. Um, deep passion for light and shadow. Um, I started in theater, so that gave me uh, sort of this love of light, I guess, for creating worlds and mood. and. You know, and uh, I remember early days shooting, uh, uh, doing shows like Gypsy, where I'd literally have lights, no sets. So it was really, it's really fun to play with light and shadow. So there's a couple of quick rules here that I want to get out of the way. So essentially we're going to select one theme, movie type, or film. From there, you have 30 minutes to light a single shot using any Sigma Cine Prime lens and primarily Roscoe DMG Lumiere lights available to you. Fear not, I'm here to help with the setup as well as Lacey from Team Sigma, Emily from Team Roscoe, along with Alex and Zach. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pick. Vance, you wanna read that off? Ah, Dutch painting is one of my favorites, actually. I'm very happy with this one. Um, Rembrandt, Vermeer, and the Dutch masters have always been an inspiration for lighting, and it should be for everyone, actually. So let's go in there and I'll show you everything that we have set up. Oh, beauty, thanks. So Vance, here's the space. It's Emily from Roscoe. She's putting up just like a gray gradient just as a starting place. We got all sorts of grip stuff, bounces, solids, scrims. And then my personal favorite table uh, over here, you got everything from 14 millimeter to 135 millimeter. We're also shooting Vance on the Sigma FP today as well with the PL adapter on it. Are you are you feeling good about the setup? You ready to get going? Because 30 minutes on the clock is going to start. Come on guys, let's go. All right, all right, okay, we're starting. We're starting. Right, guys, starting okay, right first thing, let's get this up two feet in the air, please. The camera, and I'm going to move it on back here. You want to see that 85 on right now, Vance? Yeah, let me throw up the 85 Classic, please. That'll be awesome. You know, I, I love vintage glass, mm -hmm. and you know, I, I've used the regular Cine Primes, and I really love them. They're pretty amazing. I've shot some great stuff with that, but I've been chomping at the bit to play with these. First time I'm using classics, um, I just always, you know, I think with digital cameras, you just, it's nice to take the edge off a little bit. Sure. And now we're talking about shooting for, uh, you know, Dutch master paintings, which I don't need razor, I need something that has a little... Takes the edge off the takes digital. The, takes the edge off the digital edge a little bit. And we're just gonna put a shaft of light right through the background. Color temperature uh, to 2800 Kelvin. Uh, do you have, uh, can you narrow that beam up at all? So we're gonna lose our ambience. Uh, now I'd like a, uh, a small soft source. Okay, like an SL1 mix is sort of our medium. Buffer. Yeah, medium, medium size would be great. We're gonna grab that uh, four by silk, put it vertically. Now just look towards camera. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna create what we call Rembrandt's triangle. We're actually using no shadow to create a triangle over the, uh, over the left eye. Hollywood Black Magic, if you feel, or Pro Mist as well. Black Magic, oh, let me try a Black Magic, got a half. Okay, I'm changing my mind on here, so now I'm gonna make this a nice backlight on her. Pretty much just right here and give her a nice hard backlight. And tilt up, pan right. Set that light to 3200. So right yeah, now you're trying to put that. some some negative in Vance? Yeah, I, because perfect? we're in a white room, yep. it becomes a big soft box. I mean, I'm, you know, it's simple Vance, you're not using lights. It's about the light being in the right place. Pretty I'm cool. feeling pretty good, pretty good. We have a pretty nice Rembrandt triangle going here. She looks great, we have some hair light. We're just gonna, we'll, we'll roll some. Oh, the Roscoe Dash, sure. The Roscoe Dash, this thing is really awesome, and... You have a thing you're gonna do with that later? Okay. Well, because, you know, at the end of the day, um, a lot of Rembrandt did was he lit from within, and uh, there's a 
he'd have a, either a table that lights up or a book that lights up. We're actually going to have a book that becomes a light source because knowledge is light, right? Right. Uh, I need you to turn all the lights off. Right now he's adding a bit of diffusion to the dash to soften that a little bit. So we have a light coming out of a book now. Things are getting crazy. If you put it right up against them, it's not as effective as diffusion. This will be softer. Let me take whatever glimmer glass you have. Yeah, okay. Coming uh, in. I'm curious. Glimmer glass too. Yeah, we can audition that. Let's see what, let's audition that. That's the money right there. That is beautiful. And that is just a very classic Re uh, Rembrandt look. Bring the book up a little higher if you can. There you go, right there. Now look at, Look down at the book and then look to us with strong eyes. We are literally at time. We do not have time. Cut! For that was perfect yeah. timing. <laughs> I just got the signal. Okay. Nice one. Okay, so we're gonna go out to the other space. That's 30 minutes. That's episode one of Cinematography Challenge. So let's go unpack what you worked through. You ready? Let's yeah, go sure, okay, right. fine. I'm, uh, let's go. Off All like right. a two week old mullet gut sandwich. Here I go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go okay. guys. I'll meet you out there. Okay, that's uh, that's 30 minutes. 30 minutes. We did it, we got there. I worked um, a little harder than two I thought I would. You put me to work. Two setups, huh? And you fit another setup in there. Look at you, you get a set of rules and you're like, eh. Eh. <laughs> that could do different things. What are rules for? Yeah, what are rules, rules for? Rules are made to be broken, right? Exactly, yeah. so okay, you got Dutch paintings, you felt okay about Dutch paintings, how do you feel right now? I mean, honestly, not too complex a setup, honestly. No, twice. but you know, simplicity is really, remember when I was a gaffer, watching certain cameramen work and I'd see them, they'd set a really simple look and it would be really beautiful. And then they'd start adding lights and tweaking and tweaking and tweaking. And I always say it, they went from genius to mediocrity. Hmm. So it always stuck with me. So I've always prefer simplicity right. whenever possible. One light in the right place is way better than four in the wrong. And once you've established that light, as you move around, that's the light. Well, that was Dutch paintings with a modern twist. Vance, thank you so much. I think you crushed it. Thank you very much. Thanks everyone for joining us. Don't forget to catch other episodes of the Cinema Challenge and follow us on our socials at Sigma Cine and at Roscoe. Links are below. Make sure to check out future events and have a great day, everyone.